know about you guys, but it is getting colder and colder and snowier and snowier every single day out here. It's like we'll get one pretty heavy snowfall, it'll melt, we'll be like, all right, all right, we got a few more days. No snow for a few days, another little light one, it'll melt again. And then that snowfall hits where you're like, all right, this is it, Chief. There's always just a point where you realize winter is here to stay, and that day was a few days ago, and here we are, 10 centimeters later. All right, so I've lived in this house now for quite a while. It's been like eight, nine months or something like that, and I still haven't done even a house tour, which I definitely should do at some point. But a house tour is one thing, but I haven't even done an office tour, and I'm in my office more than anything else, so I probably should have done this by now. This video isn't even really going to be an office tour, to be honest, but it's going to be as close to it as I'm probably going to get. And I really just want to show you guys how the functionality of this setup works for me. Before we get started though, if you're that kind of supporter, go ahead and clap that like button up for me to show your love. Alright, so I'm not going to actually be in this video too much because this, this isn't about me. This is about tech. You don't need to see my face, I'm on port. At some point, I'll do like a full office tour where I talk about all of these things. Just to give myself a little bit of extra space, I actually shifted my green screen backwards a little bit. As you can see, that's where it was. That's the amazing thing about this green screen. We might as well start with this green screen actually. So this is actually an Elgato branded green screen. If you're someone that needs a green screen at all, I highly recommend this one. Look how easy it is to put away and set back up. Literally, it's that easy. I wish I was boosting. I, I wish I could fake it. Like, I wish I was faking how easy it was, but that's it. That's literally it. When you're putting it away, you just push it back down in here. And then you can leave it like that or you can close this, you know, you can clamp that and then there's a handle there. You can pick it up, lean it against the wall, put it in a closet, put it anywhere. Just push it out of the way. One of, if not the most important thing for me about my work is functionality. Like I'll pay extra money for better functionality, especially if it's something that I have to use often. Okay, next up, <laughs> we're going to get to my chair. Very, very dookie chair. I need to get a better chair, but I mean, honestly, I'm just sitting there and putting my body on it. It's not much. I don't need much, I guess. But there's a couple things in this video that I will be upgrading like very shortly after this video. Those two things are my chair and my actual like computer, this computer right here. I was thinking about it, I'm like, yo, I think I might wait until after I upgrade those to do this video. But then I took in that Black Friday, Cyber Monday, uh, Boxing Day, all those things are coming up very shortly. And I feel like I could just help a few of you guys to get the tech that you need on those days. Cause yo, some of y'all still don't know about the Black Friday deals, man. You gotta get on it. So yeah, that's my chair. I've had it for like a few years now, like literally minimum three years now. It's kind of crazy. When I was moving from Toronto to here, I took off the arms off of it, lost one of the screws, and I had like one arm on it and I just, I just took them off. I don't know where they are. I need a new chair. I have this blanket here for comfort and then this Budweiser jacket I've just had it here it's just a little extra branding you know I, I gotta show love to the brand that showed love to me next up you know what I think we're just gonna go ahead and get the embarrassment out of the way <laughs> first I got this <laughs> I got this computer here and it's crazy cuz I game and this is super not a gaming computer this PC is like the bare minimum to game and it's not again it's really not to game it's just a computer it's just a PC I just so happen to stream on it if there are any actual techies watching if you want to have a nice little giggle like you want to just laugh real quick take in these specs you know if you if you just want to have a nice laugh and then just take in that I stream like five times a week I don't know how it's running I don't know anyway so new computer on the way and I guess this is in the shot so I should explain this I am doing a brand deal with these guys very shortly it's gonna be a social media brand deal let's get it you see it little extra promo for your head top there you go DRX. and by the way like nothing in this room right now is staged I walked in I'll be honest I changed my garbage I threw out my garbage that's it my garbage can right there that's it everything else this is the exact way that it was when I walked in getting ready to film today I'm just a tidy tidy person I don't even know in what order to do this but down here I have my internet setup and my speakers. I have a switch here to split up my ethernet cords. I have one running into the wall right here. Your boy is hardwired, you see it. I also have a Wi-Fi hub here just for when I actually do want to use Wi-Fi for like my phone or my laptop. It pulls it right from there instead of from the basement. And this thing is actually a beast, you see it. Alright, so yeah, that cord runs in runs into this, splits up, and then I have one of these cords going into my computer, 
and the other one going into my PS4. Since I've plugged it in like that and set it up, I've had no problems whatsoever with the internet and I've been so happy. So when I was buying a desk, I was kind of overwhelmed because there's so many options for desks out there. But all you have to do really is just think about what you need and just get that. What I actually did was on Ikea, they have a feature where you can create or build your own desk. So you know what you want out of a desk and you can just build it and it's perfect. I knew that I needed to be in front of my window and I needed a lot of space. So I got the longest tabletop they had to offer. I think it's 200 something 200 centimeters I think and as legs instead of using these poles as legs because I don't know I, I just didn't think it was very nice I used trestles instead. I think they're called trestles or tre something like that I feel like they're sturdier. Also, you can put things on top of them I was so close to being able to put my PC on top of it Like it just almost fit that would have been a vibe regardless I have so much tabletop space that I was able to put my PC on top. I actually was just watching a YouTube video yesterday I was watching videos on people building PCs and just all that kind of stuff and the guy in the video that I was watching had exactly the exact same desk as I had Today we're going to be building myself a brand new gaming PC rig so when I got it the width of the tabletop was actually like shorter than the width of the uh, trestles or whatever so I had to drill into it like you're supposed to be using this hole into the thing it's a lot to explain but whatever I got it done just make sure you look at the dimensions properly or get a drill and get ready to do some stuff yourself because I'm pretty sure the shorter tabletop is wider and it fits properly with this but the longer one is thinner and that happened so it's all good it doesn't matter I kind of like it like that it's kind of a vibe you can actually raise it and uh, change these pegs you can tilt it like you can put the back ones higher up so that it's a tilted desk for drawing or things like that like a drafting table I only raised it a little bit just enough so that my ps4 had a little bit of space so that it could just slide right in and fit there it's just oh my god it's so satisfying this drawer compartment here is called uh, I think it's an Alex drawer from my Ikea. It's pretty cheap. It's like a hundred dollars. It gets the job done in here I have my controllers and you know what? I kind of like this thing here this little uh, indent here because it allows me to actually close the drawer with cords hanging out and then I have down here my filing cabinet that I haven't really used All right next up. I definitely have mentioned this before can I take this off? I just had to have an intermission to take this off. It was bothering me. But you guys know about this. This is my actual footrest. It has been for years. You know, uh, I just I just don't vlog that much anymore. Um, it is the greatest footrest of all time. Trust me when I tell you that. Also, we got these headphones here. These are my gaming headphones. They are HyperX branded. And these great guys here from SSG, my organization, they sent me these for free. Shouts to SSG. You see it. They also sent me this HyperX mouse pad here. The mouse that I use also HyperX and the keyboard you know the keyboard when I first got it it did all these crazy things it was like lighting up it had all these cool colors and I don't know how to set it so that the colors come back but so if any of you guys know how to get the HyperX RGB keyboard to like start flashing again let me know I have this iPhone cord uh, it's running for it's a really long one I think it's like a 2m or 3m and it's running all the way from down there all the way through here and I usually just have my phone plugged in right here so my microphone for gaming is actually a blue Yeti microphone as you can see right here I bought this online just this part here and it came with this red thing and I'm like eh, why not and I threw it on now that I look at it it's kind of corny but I don't know I just it just came free so I just put it on I also got a little pop filter here this was really cheap this is probably like 10 or 15 dollars this microphone arm here was also very cheap it was definitely no more than 15 dollars I'm pretty sure both were the same brand it's uh where's the brand newer that's the brand right there newer it's off Amazon you see the aloe vibes so my laptop I usually just put it right here slide it under my monitor leave it right here and it's always charging here and then I have my beats right there and when I'm actually editing I unplug it I can just do it and then I push all of this stuff back oh my god oh my god don't fall don't fall I push all this stuff out of the way like I push it way further out of the way and then I open this up and then I have a USB cord that runs from this it's back there right now hiding but it runs from this and I plug it in right here and then my editing goes on this screen right here so I kind of like I use my hands here but it actually shows up here and then when I'm done editing or I'm just gonna game or whatever I take this Slide it right here, plug it in, and then pull everything back to the front. Some of you guys know the definition of sweaty gameplay or sweaty gaming to just mean you are trying very hard or you're trying harder than you need to for a certain situation. But for me, it actually means I'm, I'm, I'm sweating. So I like to keep a cloth right here, and it's literally just for my hands. Wow, you hear that voice crack? Every like couple games, I'll just go like this. Ah, ah, ah. 
If I put my hand sweat rag on eBay, would anyone buy it? All right, for the camera work, your boy got the Logitech 922 HD 1080p. This baby right here, the Elgato Stream Deck. Bro, this thing has single-handedly upped my stream game like tenfold. Elgato, please sponsor me. I love all of your products. I'm a streamer, you know, I just, what do I gotta do? But yeah, different buttons do different things. Like I have a couple buttons that play music, a couple buttons that just put things on the screen. This button is to actually just go live. This button's to record. This sends like this drafted tweet that I already have ready. Things like that, right? And this, I'd like to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to my wonderful sister because she actually got this for me. So if you're gonna be streaming, I would say you absolutely need two different screens. The reason for that is you need one screen for your gameplay, but then you also need a separate screen to be looking at whatever people are chatting and whatever else is going on on that end, the internet, just things like that. You need a whole other screen for that. So this is my gameplay monitor right here, and then this is my monitor just for like the internet. <coughs> Although you do need two, you don't need two really strong ones. I would say definitely make sure that your gaming monitor is really good. And when I say really good, I don't mean like crazy, crazy good. Just make sure that it's at least a two or one millisecond response time. There's a lot of monitors that have the one millisecond response time, so if you can get that, just get it. But you'll see it. It'll say 1ms, 2ms, 3ms, 4ms. But for your other monitor that you're just using to like edit or just do all the other internet stuff on, you definitely don't need some crazy monitor. At that point, you just need a monitor. Also, that monitor can be bigger. For your gaming monitor though, I don't think you, like it's all about preference, right? But I personally wouldn't say that you should get a monitor over like 24 inches for gaming but to each his own I've seen people with a, a little bit bigger like maybe 26 but any higher than that I think your gameplay will be affected it's funny too because like I've always been a gamer I've always played mad games Halo Chell all that stuff but once I started like gaming for YouTube it was different because I was not used to the whole like little screen thing and I thought it was really weird I saw people using these little monitors and I'm like that's weird like how can you see come to find out it's way way better I think that's everything I didn't really talk about my speakers but they're nothing special I got little Logitech speakers right there I think they're like 50 bucks there's one there one there and then the subwoofer is under there I already showed you guys that my lighting setup is so weak right now I just have this one little studio light and it's off to the side too let me tell you lighting is so important especially when you have a green screen it's so important that's another thing that I actually need to upgrade I need to get like a ring light so that I can put it just right in front of my uh, my camera because right now it being off to the side like that when I have it on let me just roll a clip and you can see what I mean yo yo rift go rift go on me rift go on me come okay. come come come, come yeah. go, pull up oh my god you just pulled yeah, yeah, quit. Yeah, yeah, quit. Yeah, yeah, quit. Yeah, yeah. During the day, it's amazing. It's beautiful because I'm not, I don't have any lights on. It's just the natural sunlight. It's perfect. There's no little marks. It's just wonderful. But once it starts getting a little later and I have to close my blinds and turn on all these fake lights, that's when it starts to get a little tricky. So just keep in mind that lighting is important and you have to be pretty specific about it. Another wonderful Elgato product right here. I have the Elgato HD 60S for streaming. Works wonders. Haven't had an issue yet. I had the Elgato HD 60 right before this. It was right before I started streaming and I was told to just get that one, the S. I didn't even actually try the 60 with streaming so I don't even know if it works. It might work but my buddy just told me don't play yourself get the ass don't even bother trying it's just gonna be a little weird glitchy whatever 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 I don't know about any of that it's just an older model I do know though that I had the 60 for years and what I was using it for before streaming was recording my gameplay and it was perfect for that for literally years but it is an older model and I think this new S model is specifically better for streaming also it's weird like you really might as well buy the S because I'm pretty sure the 60 is harder to find and somehow the same price if not somehow more expensive so when looking for a game capture device just definitely get the HD 60 S this is not tech related at all but I had this neon light here for so long it's big vibes you see it oh my god and at night especially it would bring such nice vibes to the room and when I was streaming too it was actually a big vibe like the night streams had like red vibes it was really cool but once I started using my green screen I completely stopped using that because it doesn't work with it obviously but I don't know I might start switching it up I might have a few streams that don't have my green screen just so I can use the red vibes this little thing right here is called a chat link you plug your headphones into the chat link you plug the chat link into your controller and the back of the chat link is actually coming from the Elgato and all that is just about like the party chat and all that it's just so that your stream can actually hear what you're hearing so I'm gonna be leaving links to a lot of this equipment in my description check it out but more importantly check those things out 
on Black Friday or this week leading up to Black Friday and afterwards. There's also Cyber Monday, there's Boxing Day coming up. So if you were ever thinking about getting a gaming setup or even just a nice work setup or you already have a gaming setup and you just want to upgrade a few things, this is the week to do it. Trust me. Check Best Buy, check Amazon, don't ever play yourself. So this was an office tour like me showing you guys my office but, but I do know that there are a lot of people who want to do a gaming setup or they want to stream and the whole thing just seems too complicated or they don't know which specific items that they need. I hope you guys either enjoyed this video or it was informative. Like I said, if you enjoyed it, make sure to clap that like button up for me. If you're interested in gaming or streaming, I've mentioned it before, I do have a gaming channel that I've been grinding on. You know, if you ever just miss me and want to know where I'm at, it's been a few days, where's DJ on main channel? Go to my gaming channel, I'll be there. I live stream very often as well. But anyways guys, thank you for all the support. I will see you guys in the next video and until then, don't sleep fam. Oh.